Good morning! Let's continue with our lesson. On March 18, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid the 100,000 accounts payable to Bitstock from his personal, very important, from his personal cash effect. Hindi nabawasan yung cash ng company kasi hindi naman doon kinuha yung pambayad. Ang sabi, from his personal cash. So that would amount to additional investment. Once again, entity concept. The business is one entity and the owner or owners of the business is another entity. So nung hinugot niya yung sarili niyang cash, that amounts to additional investment. Ano sabi natin? Additional investments are additions. They increase the proprietorship section. Natatanda mo pa ba? Ayan o. No? Oh, let's recall for a while. That is number two. Additional capital investment increases the proprietorship. Tsaga-tsaga lang class A o oh, talagang ganyan. There is no magic formula to learn accounting. Patience is the key. Okay? Sinong nagsabi na madali mag-aral? Hirap kaya? Gigising ka ng maaga o maliligo ka, magluluto ka pa para lang makapasok ka. Pwede kung madali lang mag-aral, hindi eh lahat nakapag-aral na. Tsaga lang. Okay? Ang accounting ay hindi patalinuhan. Tanda mo yan. Ang accounting ay pasipagan. Pasipagan lang yan. 585,000, 200,000, 385,000. Let's go to the next transaction. Transaction number 8. Decrease in assets, decrease in proprietorship. On March 20, 2020, Mr. Cruz paid in cash. Paid in cash. The rental of the shop for the month of March amount 10,000. So yung cash natin na 85,000 from the previous accounting equation, 75,000 na lang. Nabawasan ng 10. Nagkaroon ka naman ng bagong item under proprietorship. That is the rental expense of 10,000. Siyempre, equal pa rin tayo. Okay? Are you following? Next. Number 9. Transaction 9 is increase in assets, increase in proprietorship. On March 23, 2020, Mr. Cruz put 200,000 cash to the business as additional capital. So parang kanina uli ito, additional investment. So merong additional 200,000 na nilagay. Dadagdagan yung previous na 100 plus 200, it becomes 300. So the cash from 75,000 now becomes 275,000. Siyempre, equal pa rin tayo. Transaction number 10. Increase in one form of assets, decrease in another form of assets. On March 25, 2020, Mr. Cruz bought a second-hand automobile for business use and paid cash for the total price of 250000 The accounting equation after transactions 1 to 10 would be as follows. Bumili daw ng second-hand na sasakyan for the business. Magkano na nga ba presyo? 250. Magkano na nga ba pera natin? 275. O di natural, 25 na lang ang tira. All other items would be the same as in the previous accounting equation, but there arises a new asset. The account title is increase in one form, decrease in another form. Anong nag-decrease? It is cash. Anong nag-increase? O, yun yung automobile. Yun yung ating bagong account title dito. 250,000. Transaction 11. As of March 31, 2020, the summary of cash collections from computer rentals amounted to 180,000. So, from transaction 1 up to transaction 11, eto na ngayon yung effects sa ating accounting equation. Nakakolekta ng magkano daw? 180,000. Sa previous ba, ilan na yung cash natin? 25. Plus 180,000, that would be 205. All other things, all other components, would be the same except for the cash na nabawasan, uh, na nadagdagan, I should say, dahil nakakolekta tayo, and computer rental income. Ano sabi natin? Computer rental income increases, kaya padagdag siya, the proprietorship section of the accounting equation. 
kaya pa dagdag. So, balance pa rin, 955,200,755,000. Transaction number 12. Decrease in assets, decrease in proprietorship. On March 31, 2020, the company paid in cash the following, electric bill, water bill, and employee salary. So what would be the effect to the accounting equation? Yung electric bill, water bill, telephone bill, they're oftentimes collectively known as utilities expense, also sometimes called city services. Ano mangyayari? Mababawasan ka ng 30,000. So, from the previous amount of 205,000, magiging 175,000 na lang. But you will now have utilities expense at yung salaries expense mo doon kanina sa previous, natin, uh, previous nating table, which is just 15,000, eh ngayon, nadagdagan ng another 15,000, kaya magiging 30,000. Expenses, decrease the proprietorship section, kaya open close parenthesis, silang dalawa, together with the rental expense. Okay. Siyempre, balance eh. Transaction number 13 and the last transaction. On March 31, 2020, Mr. Cruz withdrew. Ibig sabihin, kumuha siya. Kinuha niya yung pera from the business. Ang sabi dito, for personal use, 50,000. Kumuha siya. O ibig sabihin, nabawasan yung cash. From 175,000 minus 50,000, it becomes 125. And there now arises a withdrawal account dito sa, pro dito sa proprietorship section, which is also a deduction. Diba sabi natin, withdrawals, decrease the proprietorship section. So from transactions 1 to 13, here in our illustrative example, diretso na equal syempre yung at ating accounting equation. 875, 200,000 and 675,000. So I strongly suggest maybe you can screen capture this last table natin because later on we will be needing this final results. Okay class, so attendance muna tayo. Please let me know you're present by hitting the subscribe button and saying present in the comment section. Bilang reward naman sa'yo sa paggawa mo niyan, I will be giving you a free book. So, wala naman mawawala sa'yo, subukan mo lang. Ano? Say present in the comment section below. I will be posting my personal Facebook account and you would have to message me there. Sasabihin mo sa akin yung pangalan mo yung address mo and then yung name ng school mo you just try please subukan mo wala namang mawawala sa'yo I will be mailing the book to you via LBC at wala kang gagastusin wala kang gagawin bukod sa syempre pagdating sa bahay ninyo tatanggapin mo lang yung libro and that would be it that would be my gift to you for being one of the first few subscribers I would have to choose from the first few subscribers so that would be my thank you gift for you Let's continue with the lesson. Financial statements. At the end of the accounting period or upon request of the owner, the accountant prepares financial statements or aids them, aids the management in the preparation of the financial statements. The financial statements are the means by which the information accumulated and processed in financial accounting is periodically communicated to the user. So, tandaan mo discussion natin sa communication phase. Based on PAS number one, Philippine Accounting Standards Number 1, a complete set of financial statements include the following. You have your statement of profit or loss or income statement, the statement of changes in equity, statement of financial position or the balance sheet, statement of cash flows, statement of comprehensive income, and the notes to the financial statements. Statement of Profit or Loss, also known as Income Statement. A Statement of Profit or Loss or Income Statement is a formal statement showing the performance of the enterprise for a given period of time. So let's read the terms muna. Then we will compare and contrast it with 
the balance sheet or the statement of, of financial position. Okay? How do you make a statement of profit or loss? First, you have the heading, kung ano yung pangalan ng business. If the business has no name, it must be the name of the owner. So, Robert Cruz. The name of the statement, statement of profit or loss or income statement. And the period covered. So, tulad ng sabi natin kanina, hopefully, na screen grab mo yung ating last table because from there, we will be getting the components of our income statement. Yung, yung transactions 1 to 13 natin kanina. From there, please check that one. You'll get the amount 180,000 and the expenses 30, 10, 15 for salaries, rental, and utilities expense respectively. So, sabi natin, the income statement shows the performance. Ano ba yung performance na tinutukoy natin dito? Eh, ano pa? Eh, Siyempre, yung amount of income that the company earned during the period. And, as it turns out, Mr. Robert Cruz earned 125000 for the month ended March 31, 2020. Statement of Changes in Equity The Statement of Changes in Owner's Equity shows how additional investment, accumulation of income or losses, and withdrawals affected the capital account. So same lang din tulad kanina, yung composition, dapat you have your heading, the name of the business, or if the business has no name, it must be the owner's name. The name of the statement, Statement of Changes in Equity, for the month ended March 31, 2020. So if you remember, initially ang capital ni Robert Cruz ay 300,000. Dagdagdag siya ng 300,000 and the income okay, that we have computed from the income statement 125,000 is the same 125,000 here. So 425,000. Okay, 300, 425, 725,000. Nag-withdraw si Robert Cruz for his own personal use, 50,000. So, this is a deduction that is 675,000. Yan yung ending capital balance for March 31 ni Robert Cruz. Next, Statement of Financial Position, also known as Balance Sheet. A Statement of Financial Position or Balance Sheet is a formal statement showing the financial position of an enterprise as of a particular date. Okay? Now, let us compare this with your income statement. Ang sabi natin kanina sa income statement, the income statement covers a particular period of time. Meaning to say, it has a starting point and it has an end point. It is a period of time. Big sabihin, pwedeng mula lunes hanggang bernes. It is a range of time. Mula March 1 hanggang March 31. It is a range or a period of time. Ngayon naman pagkabalance sheet, it is as of a specific point in time. Pag sinabi mong lunis, lunis lang. Pag sinabi mong March 31, March 31 lang. Hindi sa range of time. As of a particular date. The balance sheet presents the three elements of financial position, assets, liabilities, and proprietorship. As we have discussed already. So same lang, heading, name of the business, or if the business has no name, the owner's name, the name of the statement, and take note of the heading, okay? Baka mamali ka dito, ay may deduction ka pag, pagka pinag-quiz ka ng teacher, mali yung heading mo. Instead na for the period ending, dapat as of. So kung mapapansin mo, dito sa ating statement of changes in equity, for the month ended also. And for income statement, for the month ended also. But for balance sheet, it must be as of. Hindi po yung kaartihan, Talagang ganyan yan. That is the correct way. So once again, I'd like you to check dun sa screen capture mo kanina. Doon natin kukunin yung mga values dito. Anong sabi? Balance sheet contains the assets, liabilities, and the proprietorship. Yung income and expense items, hindi sa balance sheet yon Sa income statement yon Also known as your profit and loss statement. Assets, liabilities, and equity or proprietorship sa statement of financial position or 
balance sheet. So, check the last table. Please confirm, cash is 125, yung natira dun sa last table. Yes, correct. Computers, 350, 150, 250 for furnitures and automobiles. So, 750. Total assets, 875. Correct, nagtatali. Liabilities would be accounts payable, notes payable, both total 200. Our cruise capital 675, yan yung ating ending capital balance as computed dito sa ating statement of changes in equity, 675. So, 875,000. Perfectly balanced. Now, our example is very simple. The simplest of all simple. Para lang may parating sa iyo yung konsepto ng kung paano gumawa ng income statement, statement of changes in equity, at saka statement of financial position. Siyempre, pag pinag-quiz ka, hindi na ganyang kasimple yan. Mas madaming transaction, medyo mas complicated ng konting transaction. Ah, hindi ganito kasimple, in short. Yan yung nadidinig mo dun sa mga kakilala mo na, uy, nabalanse mo ba? Ay, bumalanse ba? Dun sa mga ate, kuya mo na nasa college na ngayon, if ever you're in high school right now. Okay? I'd like you to notice one thing again. Our assets here are classified as either current or non-current. Ano naman yung classification ayan? Current assets are those which are expected to be used within one year or the normal operating cycle of the company. So kung ini-expect mo na magagamit siya o mauubos as the case may be, depende sa asset, within one year, that asset should be classified as current assets. Pagka naman hindi, it extends to more than one year. One year na lang muna tatandaan mo para mas madali. Yung normal operating cycle that would be discussed to you in higher accounting subjects. If it will be used for more than one year, it must be classified as non-current asset. So check mo. Computer, furnitures, automobile, they usually are used for more than one year. Same naman for liabilities, current and non-current classifications. If it is expected that uh, you would pay or you would satisfy the liability within one year, it must be classified as current. If not, non-current naman. Okay class, so that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so, ganun-ganun lang class. A few minutes of your time every day, imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos pa bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.